part three. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. And welcome to Adulting Midwest Style. I'm Aaron. And I'm Alicia. And today we're going to be answering your questions. Number three, part three. If you uh, um, haven't seen the first two, I think our first one was from like last Christmas. And the other one we did earlier this year, I'll link them above Aaron's head. But yeah, this is part three because you guys like to ask us questions and we like to answer. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but first I have a spotted cow for my beer today. Um, and then I, I don't have know what he's got. I got a Schlafly Pale Ale. Oh my goodness. I'm like bad with this bottle opener. There you go. We can actually clink this time. Yep. And both throw. Oh, I hit the stand. As long as we don't hit the expensive camera. Oh yeah. As you hit the expensive <laughs> camera. Uh, cheers. Happy cheers. Monday. All right, well, we'll treat it like how we did before. I'll put a screenshot of the question from um, each of these lovely ladies. Yep, all ladies. All ladies today. Um, so, yeah, we'll just hop right into it and uh, keep asking. We like doing these. So, and also subscribe if you're new here. Um, but first, we have it from Becca Burt. And she asked us, what would each of you choose for your ideal day of breakfast, lunch, and dinner? This is from our Loaded Questions episode. All right, so I'm, I'm going to start here. Um, mm -hmm. Big start to the breakfast has to be, like, like some nice donuts. Mm, like, we do like donuts. What would be the donut? You have to be specific. Now, I used to get peanut Pershings. Can't do that anymore. No. So I'm going to go with just like a chocolate long john. We do enjoy our long johns. The um, I also liked the glazed cake donuts. I mm -hmm. quite enjoy those as well. So pretty much plain Jane's here. Yep. All right. Um, For do you want to go through all your day and then I'll go through my day? Yeah. So breakfast, I would say donuts. Lunch, I would probably say if I had to pick... A lunch that isn't like just when we think of lunch I think of nice quick easy meal I'm thinking leftover pizza mm. hot or cold hot it has mm. to be hot Missing out. I am NOT a cold pizza type of guy comment below if you like cold pizza I quite enjoy cold pizza sometimes even more so than the original day pizza I'm also thinking like I'm going to work and like you know, yeah. I'm not, like, preparing a lunch. Now, maybe let's just, like, expand on it a little bit. What would you go out to lunch to eat if it's fast, quick, easy? Mm, Culver's. Mm, it's figured, right there. Figured as much. All right, your dinner? Um, I probably have to go with a nice, hearty steak. Mm. Potatoes. We just recently had steak. steak. And potatoes. Mm -hmm. So that hit the spot. So yep. now it's just fresh in your mind. Yeah. How about a fruit or veg? I mean, you got to go with corn if it has uh, yeah. mashed potatoes. That's fair. That is ideal. Or my favorite fruit, which would be pineapple. Mm hmm Theo recently quite enjoyed pineapple himself. Mm hmm That was very recent at my parents' house. He's been really transitioning from only liking vegetables to, like, only wanting, like, strawberries. Yes. <laughs> so... Um, all right. Well, that was your full day. Yep. Did you have a snack in there at some point? Well, or? yeah, let's go with like a dessert. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Um, no, I, I received an entire Portillo's chocolate cake. And that For his is, birthday. And, and that is ginormous. insane amount of cake. Yeah. But it's so good. So you're going with the Portillo's Yeah, chocolate just cake. like what I just, what I just had for my birthday I dinner. was going to say that was his birthday dinner, quite literally. Um, all right, let me whip up mine. Um, I quite enjoy donuts as well, but I think I would choose cereal. And my favorite cereal is probably chocolate, Chocolatey Delight from Special K is my jam, but it's so expensive. So I usually go with um, like a Honey Nut Cheerio or like Honey Bunches of Oats type of situation. 
Um, and then obviously coffee with that. Uh, lunch, I agree with Erin. I immediately think something quick, easy, not like anything that's going to take me long to do. So I quite enjoy doing like a cheese quesadilla. Um, I'm surprised you didn't say like nachos or something. Yeah, nachos, very solid, like where you just throw cheese on chips and throw it in the back. He calls them stepbrother nachos. Because that's, that's the first movie. scene of stepbrothers. Yes. But your cheese quesadilla... Is not like most people's cheese quesadilla, where you grill it or you. No, you know, I just microwave it. a tortilla with cheese in it. Sometimes I put turkey pepperoni in it, if we have it. But um, yeah, I would probably choose that, if not leftovers too. But um, if I'm just whipping it together or mac and cheese, I do quite enjoy mac and cheese for lunch. It's a good lunch meal. Yeah. I feel like it's not great for dinner unless you have something to go with it. I don't know. But lunch, I'll choose that. Mac and cheese for lunch. And then for dinner, uh, it'd have to be either, like, stir-fry, like chicken stir-fry, or pizza. Yeah, two salads. It would be. Um, for dessert, I would probably choose, um, like, some sort of ice cream, probably. Ice cream bar or something. Although I have been really enjoying the... Smart or smart sweets, I think that's what they're called. They're like little bags and they're like healthy candy. They're, they're basically Swedish fish, but not. But they're like healthy for you. Like they like don't use like, I don't know what it is about it, but they're healthy. Don't, don't use half the ingredients. Yeah, or something like that. So that would be my what, day. What was your quick, uh, gotta go to somewhere and lunch? Oh, probably Culver's as well. I do quite enjoy, they have great chicken tenders. Mm, they do. Um, I also like Arby's. I forget about Arby's. I like the roast beef there. Yeah. So, but I'd probably, like, immediate choice Culver's is what came to mind. So thank you, uh, Becca, for that question. Now, Olive March asked two, two questions. questions. What are the artists or songs you're liking lately? Um, I'd say, I don't know. I don't, I'll be honest. I only listen to, like, Kiss FM, and I just listen to, like, the top hits, the, and the pop. I really don't even know who sings what. I'll be honest, because right now I'm, like, really listening to, like, podcast stuff. Um, so, uh, right now, I'd probably say the same type of things, like pop songs or top hits, um, random shit I hear on TikTok mm -hmm. that I associate with TikTok. Um, but my favorite artists will always and forever be, like, Lifehouse, I like Ed Sheeran, I like Pink, I like Kelly Clarkson, um... And then, I don't know, some bands I like, are, besides Lifehouse, are like, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think. That seemed like a good enough answer. Okay, fair enough. Aaron said it was fine. <laughs> so, um, yeah, sorry, I couldn't come up with anything newer for you. I do like, um, oh, now I forgot her name. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll think of it. Um, what artists or songs have you been liking lately? I, I mean, just in general, I'm more of a rock. Yes. Uh, I will listen. The Hog. Uh, yeah. Um, I do listen to more classic rock, more modern rock. Um, I do listen to pop music and try to follow it, but I don't know. I'm about as, like, I don't know who sings this song. Type yeah, that's the thing. Like, I know quite a few, like, recent songs, but I could not tell you the name of them or who sings them because I don't pay attention enough for that. But I do, like, jam hard to, like, kiss up on my way to work and stuff like that. <laughs> but I couldn't tell you the names or anything. Mm -hmm. um, specific artists or songs? I believe I said Parkway Drive in my uh, 72 questions. Mm -hmm. They're more of a metally rocky band. Yeah. Um, becoming more popular, actually. Mm -hmm. I've heard them on the radio. Um, love Foo Fighters, The yeah. Killers, Green Day, yeah. bands like that. I like really like the oldies too. Like my, at my brother's wedding that I recently went to, uh, the DJ was playing like a bunch of like pop two thousand song, and I'm just like, that's my era, man. I love those songs. Mm -hmm. um, 
And then Olive also asked, what are the podcasts you're liking? Which I can say a few for you, because mm -hmm. that's actually what I've been listening to. I still like Crime Junkie, of course. Um, I listen to Jack Shepard's podcast and Whitney Cummings' podcast. <laughs> uh, I, I know who Dak Shepard is. Yes. That's it. Um, I also listen to Girl Next Door as well. Um, those are probably the main ones I listen to. I still am looking for another crime one, so if you guys have any suggestions for a good crime one, comment below, because I'd love to get another one of those. Because I feel like I listen to a bunch of the old crime junkie things, so now I feel like I'm caught up to the point where I'm like, now up to the recent stuff that happens every Monday. Um, of course, I always listen to um, books and stuff by my sister. So, um, yeah. And you're not really... I, I don't really listen to podcasts because I don't really... I do listen to music every once in a while while at work. That's normally just to, like, blank out the amount of sound that's everywhere else. Can I... Can I interrupt? Yeah. I think, Olive, this would be a better fitting question for Aaron, and I'll ask it. What are the YouTube things that you listen to? Because that's, he more listens, if he's not playing video games that's, or watching Theo, he's more often on YouTube or Reddit. So I would say maybe a YouTube channel. What are some of your favorite well, YouTube channels? Some of my favorite YouTube channels. Um, KYR Speedy, he plays video games with all of his friends, mm -hmm. and they're silly and goofy, and they... Are more like he cackles at these videos. Yeah, they're more like, like trolls. Um, Joe uh, Santa Gato. He <laughs> does. Funny. He does the Mad Libs and um, like the headphones thing. Which comment below if you think Aaron and I should do that at some point. We think it'd be pretty funny for you. So guys. that is where you put noise canceling headphones on one person. The other person says a very extremely random sentence, and they have to try to relay it to you. I think Ellen does something similar on her channel or on her um, show, show as back, well. Back when that was a thing. Yeah, it's still like a thing. It's still there. I thought she stopped. No, she is stopping. This is oh. her last season. Okay. Anyway, I continue with your YouTube. Did you have another? Any um, comments? Yeah, I'm sure I can think of more. Um, well, we both watch Rhett and Link yes. on uh, YouTube. We quite enjoy like their um, Willits, Willits and episodes. their uh, international where they Cuisine throw, where type they of throw thing. the darts and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's. Sorry to change your question a little bit, but that but, would, like, the podcast thing works for me, but not as much for him. I would say I would listen to more podcasts if I, like, got an interest in, for instance, I know there's a thousand, like, fantasy football podcasts where people mm -hmm. talk about fantasy or football players and how good they could be or whatnot, and I would have more interest in listening to a fantasy football podcast during the football season. Ah, you know? yeah. Something like current events type yeah. of thing. Um, or like sports a, related. Or like a baseball or a basketball. Yeah. You know, I could listen to that now. Yeah, that's fair. But I just haven't gone searching for it. But thank you, Olive. How embarrassing. <laughs> Sorry about... Speaking, oh, it's spam. Speaking of White House. That's embarrassing. Yeah, that is my ringtone. Sorry about that, guys. Goodness. Oh, my God. Aaron, just, thank you, Olive, for those questions. Yes. Let me turn my phone on silent. <laughs> All right. From Shay Tilly. She, she asked two questions as well. Yeah, she asked, what are your favorite games, each of you? Games. So we, are, we do quite enjoy playing games ourselves. Um, I'd say my favorite card game would probably be Shanghai Rummy. Mm -hmm. And then... I also quite enjoy playing cribbage. Yes. Just with this guy. Yeah. Um, and then, I don't know, a couple of my other favorite games, we just recently, like last night, played um, Oregon Trail, mm -hmm. which is good. Um, I also like to play like Loaded Question, or not Loaded Questions, tele, tele, Telestrations. Telestrations. And then... Um, Family business. Family business is a good one. I feel like I'm missing. Oh, and then like Cards Against Humanity is always a good one. 
Yep. And the meme one, too. What do you meme? Those are mine. I just I, 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 like I'm also answering with, like, I agree with all those. Yes, um, we do like all those I think together. I said my favorite card game is, like, Sorry. Like, just a classic. Yeah, Sorry is always a good one. That's, like, a good board game, yeah. If I was choosing a board game, I'd ch probably choose, like, Sequence, me personally. Mm -hmm. I quite enjoy that game. There's a lot of strategy to that game, too. Yes. And I find weird that you like cribbage so much because it involves so much math. It does. It does involve math, and um, I hate math. But I, I don't know. It's like, it's a game that he introduced me to, and I had never even heard of before, so I think it's kind of like a, there's our th thing, you know? Yeah. I, I would think that most people outside of... Even just the Midwest have no idea what cribbage is or how you play it. Kind of like probably not. I like mean, I didn't, and I'm just a border away. Hearts from or spades or sheep's head mm -hmm. are other ones that I don't exactly. I know how to play hearts. That's about it. I was gonna say uh, I don't even know what sheep's head is. It's kind of similar to hearts. Oh, Shh, don't quote me on that. I don't know. Yikes. Um. Did you have any? Sorry, you added. Was there anything else? Um. No, I, I mean, we have an entire... We play game. these together, so we kind of probably have the same... We have an entire game closet upstairs, and yeah. we kind of, like, we'll play this, and then we'll play that. Yeah. If you have any new games, though, that you like... Oh, what's Hues and Cues? That's a good one. We play that, but you need, like, five or six people to play that yeah, to be that's, fun. Yeah. Um, but that's a good one. Um, and then she also asked, what are your favorite types of TikToks to record yourself yourself and which ones do you like to watch um so i like to record i like to lip sing or lip talk them um but funny things like i like to do funny lip talking ones um i try to do some of the basic dancing ones because the ones i like to watch i do dancing i'm on like mom talk so i get a lot of like different tiktoks on my like for you page of like Mom's talking about stuff, or mom's, like, saying relatable things and stuff. But I also have, like, funny TikToks throughout. So I have a, I have a decent For You page. Well-rounded, yeah. I'd say. Um, but the ones I like to shoot, I sometimes do original ones. I like to, like, share, like, a relatable thing. I have one in mind for me and Aaron to do. I just haven't come up with a full concept. So watch out for that one. Um... But I usually do, like, lip-talking ones that are funny um, or, like, mom ones. And then I also do, like, a few, like, the basic, like, mm -hmm. trending dance ones. That are just kind of easier. Yeah, that are easier. I don't try to, you know, jam whip, out too whip hard out here. The moves. Yeah. And yeah. I will say that I love some TikToks, but I do not go on TikTok. No, he doesn't. He has TikTok downloaded, um, but he doesn't go on it like I do. A lot of times I'll be, like, scrolling through Facebook, and then a TikTok will be linked, and then it'll... He gets scroll. enough TikToks from me, too. I often send him yeah. funny things. Or or Reddit, too, yeah. has TikToks that they link. And, mm -hmm. um, but I don't know. I don't... I think I'm on your... Yeah, we share a TikTok. Because it's just under our make, brand. Uh, in case there's something funny right in front of me. Yeah. yeah. But, um, and we do, I guess Theo is on it here and there, too. So mm -hmm. we will shoot Theo doing stupid stuff, but to, like, a fun song. So, yeah. I think that was Dees. Mm-hmm. Okay. So now we have Haley Vars. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Yeah, that, that's Haley. Um, current favorite shows, songs, food, drinks, podcasts, books, stores, etc. Um, yeah. So we kind of obviously touched on songs and po uh, podcasts. podcasts and stuff. So we can kind of jump through this one here. Yeah, um, so favorite shows. Go. Uh, Parks and Rec, New Girl, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Always Sunny. I agree with all four of those. Um, what's, your, I like, what's your new favorite right now? Oh, Kitchen Nightmares is my new favorite right now. I've been binge-watching that on Hulu. Um, I love Gordon Ramsay. He's quite enjoyable to watch. He's very funny. Um, so, yeah, that'd be a new one that I haven't, I don't think, ever mentioned before. Mm -hmm. um, 
And then... Prodigal Son? Prodigal Son, which unfortunately, sadly, is gone. It's canceled. No. It's very unfortunate. I didn't think it deserved it, but it is what it is. Um, on Working Moms on Netflix, yeah. I really like that one. I found that hilarious, too. Yeah. Um, I'd say that's a good amount for me. Yeah. I'm sure if you've watched this for a while, Aaron's not super, super on I, TV. I don't always watch TV. But he definitely, Parks and Rec is like... Parks and Rec, The Office. Yeah. Uh, I used to watch Family Guy. That was back. Oh, that would be... That was, yeah. That was back when, like, not now. But College. They, they still make new episodes yeah. of Family Guy. I haven't seen them since. Yeah, no. Like... You know, they that was like the early liked, thousands. That was one of the first things I learned about him in college was that was that he watched that. Um, um Sports Center back when Sports Center used to be like a here are all the sports highlights and like here's the sports news and now it's like mm -hmm. hey, um really controversial um uh, analyst, like, what do you think about this game? And oh. he says something really controversial, and it just, mm -hmm. like, gets them ratings, basically. Yeah. That's basically all of ESPN. <laughs> so. Sounds boring. Yeah. Um, okay. So, for food, um, kind of mentioned that earlier, too. Pizza, mm. cereal for me, you, coffee. You could eat three bowls of cereal. I could eat cereal for every meal of my just day. have three different bowls of cereal. It's they're my jam. Um, I'd say that Smart Sweets too is probably one of my favorite things. I think I'm out right now though. It's kind of a bummer. Been having some bomb pops. Yeah, in the he's summer. been having bomb pops. He likes all those, like uh, I don't know, like classic popsicle type of things that you'd have. Yeah, uh, I mean just sweets in general. <laughs> just all the desserts. Sweets and meats and carbs and. <laughs> <laughs> all food except, um, we all know, cottage cheese. Cottage cheese, ranch dressing. Yeah. I'm a fan. But he's pretty well-rounded on the food department. And nothing spicy for us. No. But obviously, that's not our favorite stuff, so we shouldn't even be, like, mentioning it for you. Um, but yeah, kind of classic American food is where I sit pretty happily. Favorite drink? Um, coffee, my Starbucks coffee that I buy in a jug from, um... Target and stuff. Water. Uh, caramel. And then, macchiato. Oh, skinny. Yes. Vitamin water. I like um, vitamin water. Zero. It's a zero. And orange. orange. Yeah. And then I'm trying to think of anything else like a drink that I... Oh, Ar Arnold Palmer. Ooh, Love yeah. Arnold Palmer. I introduced And then my that. favorite like adult beverage. Uh, Spotted Cow. I like Michelob Ultra. I've been going really like college life. Like, Miller Lite is the one I choose. Mm -hmm. Proceed, sir. Favorite drinks. Um, I also love just coffee, just black hot coffee. Mm -hmm. um, if I go to Starbucks, I normally get a white chocolate mocha. True. Uh, just just that. Like, I don't need... No, he three, doesn't change it up Three pumps anything. that, four shots that, mm -hmm. nine grams of sugar that. Um... Just beer in general. I like all different flavors of beer, and he's not very picky with his beer. I I will say that there are beers that like I'll drink and go, meh. Yeah, that was, was, but he'll finish it. Yeah, I always will. Um, I do like the Rockstar Orange Recovery because it tastes like orange juice. And it apparently has a lot of caffeine in it, so big into that. <laughs> um, but like I'll drink soda. I will. I just don't always just gravitate towards it. Oh, yeah. I don't like pop at all, actually. Me, personally. It's like the... F you, it's weird, because you don't like the fizziness of the, the soda pop. See, the fizziness in pop is not on the same level as fizziness of a beer. Beer or a... Yeah. Um, let's go favorite books. I think we mentioned this in a previous one question we are big readers um he his reading is like on reddit yep and mine is like celebrity memoirs things like that but again i'm not like super into reading unfortunately um would you be more into reading if somebody went up and said i've listened to all of your podcasts and i believe you would like this book 
Yeah, absolutely. I, I, when, if I get a good book, I will read it and read it quickly and enjoy it. Like, I'm not, like, completely against reading yeah. it at all. Like, I, I have been known to, like, read, like, three books in a row and then... Yeah. Yeah, I, I do enjoy it. It's I, I would... I, it's not something that I go out and, like, shop for a new book or, like... Yeah. I don't know. It's not... Yeah, it's kind of like me. I would agree where it's, like, I have a half hour free time. What do I want to do with it? Mm -hmm. it it's My first thought is that I want to sit down and read this book. Yeah, no. That's not my mind. Mine is like either a, Kitchen Nightmares right now or going on TikTok or making a TikTok. Uh, and then finally for that one, stores. Target, Walmart, pick up. Pick up. Yeah, we do, for not, groceries. Go we do not go Target, in. Target, though. Um, Woodman's every now and again now. But, like, clothes shopping, we go Old Navy, Target. We do want some Old Navy. Yeah, Old Navy does this good here. Yeah, if, if you have a toddler... Go on to Old Navy. And Very just cute clothes. Bring up the clearance. Yeah. Like seriously, you can buy like a shirt for three bucks. We've shopped their clearance quite a bit, and we like buy for like his future. Like two T. He's not something. in two T, but. Um, Old Navy, and then I feel like I'm missing. Oh, TJ Maxx. You yeah. know all those. Well, all Marshalls, TJ Maxx, all those guys, Home Goods. Um, but yeah. That'd be our favorite stores. And then we got one more episode here. Let's see. What? Cut. Well, or, I'm sorry. One more question. Yeah. One more question. <laughs> um, again, one more question from Kylie Hall. Who are your favorite characters from each of your favorite shows? And she listed our few of our favorite shows that we mentioned earlier. New Girl, Parks and Rec, and The Office. And then she also asked, what are your other favorite shows? Which we kind of talked about. So, here. since we already mentioned that, we'll just go through our favorite characters from each show, since we kind of agreed on most of them. Let's uh, start with Parks and Rec, perhaps? Sure, sure, sure. Um, see, mine, I have quite a few favorites, because they all, their characters are just so funny. Um, but I'd probably have to go with either April... Or Chris Pratt's character Andy. Mm -hmm. but Why? Yeah. Why? Um, I vibe with April. I think she's hilarious. I don't vibe with her on like her darkness, but I think it's funny. And then Andy, just because he's like the comic relief, like goofball, yeah, and has like great one-liners. And then if you've ever watched his like bloopers from any episode, yeah. they're freaking hilarious on YouTube. Yeah. And yours is... I, I'd probably have to go with John Ralphio. Oh, I was going to assume Ron Swanson. Ron Swanson, also a great choice. Yeah. Um, just, like, every character in Parks and Rec... Yeah, I mean, I... Plays it's kinda, it's, Even Tom... Yeah, Tom... Plays, like... And then, uh... I love Ben on yeah. it. I think Ben's hilarious. But, uh... Yeah. It, it, I mean, it's just a well-rounded show. It really you is. You have to get for, through the first two seasons. I mean, there's still some episodes in those seasons, but I, I agree. It definitely builds. It builds. Yeah. Um, Even, like, the chant guy, the guy oh, that always at, you know, starting Like at the chant. rallies or whatever they're called, team meetings. I don't know what they're called. Um, town hall meetings. Town hall meetings. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, that was Parks and Rec. New Girl, I'd probably say it'd have to be Nick Yeah. New Girl. I feel like Nick is just, he's so funny, and I could watch, like, his, like, one-liner, like, people make one-liner compilations of just, like, Nick quotes, Yeah. and I could just watch those over and over again. And, and I, I, I so agree funny. with that one, yeah. Yeah. Um, the Office, I'd probably have to go with, uh, ah, see, the... Jim, Dwight, like... I know, like, it's like, it's either Jim, Dwight, or Michael. Right. Um... Unfortunately, I don't vibe, like, super close with any even of the like, girls. Even, like, Stanley, just, like, yeah. is just leisurely. I just want to go home. I'm trying to think of who. I'd have to say it'd be between Jim and Michael. I can't decide, though. I can't decide. There, It's for two different reasons. Yeah, I mean, I think most people can agree with that. Like, it's like. Oh, well, no. I'm sure people like Dwight. Does anybody like like, whose favorite character is one of the ladies on that show? I'd be curious, because I feel like that... Well, Pam. Well, no, I like Pam, but I 
Like, whose favorite character? Favorite yeah. character on that show is a is girl. Angela. I mean, I just <laughs> or, curious or to know Meredith. there is Meredith a, is a great character. Yeah, but, like, your favorite. Yeah, I know. Like, it'd be hard. I don't know. Creed. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, that was The Office. And then Brooklyn Nine-Nine, I'd have to obviously go with um, hit the main guy. <laughs> Who I can't think of his character name because I haven't watched it in a while because it hasn't been on. Mm. But um, Andy Samberg's character. You don't remember it. I don't remember his Neither name. Neither do I. Oh. Because it's been that long. <laughs> Andy Samberg's character. Yes. Is my favorite. Jake, Jake Peralta. Yes. Jake Peralta. Thank you. Um, so that'd be for Brooklyn Nine-Nine. How about, um, let's just name a few random ones here. Um, it's Always Sunny. It's always Sunny, Charlie Day. Yeah, Charlie Day's character. Yeah, it has to be Charlie Day. But again, it's it's kind of... But that one, yeah, because then there's... um, Mac and... Well, Mac, but... D, there's... I know, um, who's the fourth one? Dennis. Dennis's character is psychotic. But But he's so funny. He has, like... He plays it so well. So I'd probably, honestly, I'd probably be choosing between Dennis and Charlie. Mm Mm-hmm. I, I would agree with Charlie, but, I mean, they all have great yeah. moments. Yes, for real. Even they like each have them. How about Spongebob? What's your favorite character in Spongebob? Did I say that was one of my no, favorite shows? but it's mine, so you got to pick one. Fine, Sandy. Oh, Sandy Cheeks. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm trying to think I of... I probably have to go with Squidward because... He is like the old man. Like, there's two just like he horrible, just has, yeah, two horrible neighbors just in the middle out. of nowhere. Yeah, and he's just like, leave me alone, SpongeBob. Um, for kitchen nightmares, I'd have to go with Gordon. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's so much drama, and like people are just idiots. Yeah, it's just crazy. I, I can't. I could watch like it all day. It's, it's kind of like you know Chef Gordon Ramsay is going to be coming to your restaurant regardless of like how well known he was during these actual episodes. But like oh, I think it was. What are you doing to that meat? Well, we're microwaving it and then we're serving it. Well, they are supposed to be running the restaurant the way they're supposed to. At I, first, I know, so but it's just like the way they use they are supposed to. You so. would think that they would be like, "Ooh, yeah. You know, maybe we are doing this wrong without even him Yeah. coming in. Um, I guess, are, were there any other shows that we missed? I'm sure there are, but... Yeah, I can't think of one in particular that I would have missed. I'm sure I did. <laughs> but um, that was the last question. Thank you all for uh, asking. And, um, ask some more. Yeah, ask some more. We like doing them. Um, but yeah. We hope you have a great rest of your week. Yes. Um, and I guess like happy July. Beer selections are always wanted. Content selection. Content. Do you want? You yeah. Want do you want us? To, do you want us to play? What? What'd you say? What'd you say is what it is the headphone thing? We say random shit to each other. Maybe I'll make it like a I don't know a question thing where you guys can tell us you know what we should um, say. say or something. And come up with like a cumulative list or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, we hope you have a great week, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, nice clink. <laughs>